Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily make this animated infographic directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. To save time, I'm going to start with this background and the colours I want to use below. The bottom step is just made from a rectangle. So I'm going to click here, click anywhere on the page, then go to format shape. And I want the size to be one high by four wide. And then I'll click on this and press Ctrl D to duplicate. The one on the left will be our first step. And the one on the right is going to be a slightly different shape for the others. So for the one on the left, we click on it, then go to the Effects section and 3D Rotation. And I'm going to click on Presets and choose this option here, which is called Isometric Write Up. If you click on 3D Format, we can type in a depth of 120 point. And you'll see this is close to what we want, but we're just going to make some adjustments to the material and the lighting. For material, I'm going to choose matte. And for lighting, I'm going to choose balance. Then we'll go to shape outline and choose no outline. Same for the shape over here, no outline. Now we can create our next step. So we'll go on this, press Ctrl D, go to the size and change the width just to two centimeters. and Hold down shift as you click on this little arrow at the top and you can rotate it in stages. Now I'm going to align them to the top and the left. And this is very important. You click on the top piece first and then shift click to select the other piece and go to shape format, merge shapes and union. If you didn't click on the top piece first, when you apply the 3D effects, it may look wrong. And now we can go to the shape on the left, control shift C, Click on the shape on the right, Control Shift V, and we have our second step. And this is the same format that we use for all the others. So I'm going to show you how we can quickly duplicate them. So we'll drag this into position, and then we'll drag this into position. And you can use the cursor keys to finally align it to exactly where you want. And then if I click Control D and drag it into position, The next time you press Ctrl D, PowerPoint will know where you want it to go and Ctrl D again. Now I can select them all and drag them into position. I'm just going to click on this bottom one and adjust it by one pixel to the left. Now let's add the text. For the text, I'm going to use Fig Tree Extra Bold at 40 point and white. And we can either have them like that, or I'm going to show you how you can add them with the isometric effect applied. So for this, we can go to text options, then choose text effects, then go to 3D rotation and choose isometric top up. Now we can duplicate these, drag them into position and duplicate again, again and again. Now we can type in the other numbers. Change some colours using the colours I've selected below and the eyedropper tool. Now I'm going to quickly paste in the text I had, but you can easily recreate this by using Fig Tree Extra Bold and making it the same colour as the step. And for these, I made them with a small circle, again filled in with the colour of the step, and then with a 10 point outline. 50% transparency. That's looking really good. Now let's add the animation. And to do this, I want to make sure that firstly, everything is grouped in the way I want it to animate. So each of these circles with lines and the step text are grouped. And then I'm going to group each of these steps and the text. And to do that, I'll click on the step, shift click to select the text, and then control G to group. And you'll see that's now brought it to the front, but that's okay because as we go and group the others, they'll also come to the front. So then we click on that and click on that, control G, click on that, click on that, control G. You can either select the step or the text first. It doesn't matter in this case, control G, and then the final step, number five. So now these are all grouped, we can animate them. And I find the easiest way to do this is to go onto the slide, press control D, make sure the second slide is selected, 
and then go to Transitions and choose More. Then go back to the first slide, hold down Control and the mouse wheel to zoom out a bit and move everything off the screen. So I'm just going to drag step one and step two out like this. And then step three and step four, I'm going to drag out a little bit further. The further they are away, the longer they'll take to animate in. So that gives a nice staggered effect. And for these steps, I'm going to hold down shift and then just drag them out in any direction. And now when we play from the beginning, we'll have our animated infographic. The great thing is, once you've created something like this from scratch, you can easily reuse it in any colour, in any style, in any presentation. If you'd like to download any of the source files for my recent tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon page in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.